Hello Toads and Toadettes. Today I will be ranking the top 10 Wii U games. This might be a little bit like my favorites videos and a lot of these games were on that video. But this time we are putting it in order from 10 all the way to the best Wii U game in my opinion. Feel free to leave your guys' top 10 in the comments down below. I'd love to see what your guys' opinions are. I did this video for the Nintendo 3DS as well. And I do have more in the Wii U Collecting series. With that out of the way, let's get right into this. In number 10, we have NES Remix Pack. This might come as a surprise to some, but obviously it's the Wii U, so some of these games might not be crazy that are on this list compared to like the 3DS, but this game is still very, very good. This game basically just takes old NES games and puts new twists on them. Like some, it might be a crossover, for example, where you see Super Mario Bros. 3 with Kirby's Adventure here. Or it'll just be little challenges within the games, like beat a level in a certain amount of time, or find something like The Legend of Zelda. This game comes with both the first game and the second game, NES Remix and NES Remix 2, which were previously eShop exclusive, so this game brings it to the physical world. And you get some extras with this game. I love NES Remix Pack. It is honestly a fantastic game. This is honestly the definitive version to play the game. Obviously, the first two games are just inside of this game, and Ultimate NES Remix on the 3DS is still a fantastic game, but it only has the best ones. It doesn't have all the other ones as well. NES Remix Pack is an amazing game, especially if you want to cherish Nintendo's history. That is why it's number 10 on my list. And number 9, we have Yoshi's Woolly World. I absolutely love Yoshi's Woolly World. It was one of my first Wii U games that I ever owned, and I, it's just such a good 2D platformer. There's so much charm and personality that was put into Yoshi's Woolly World. First of all, there's so much different costumes you can use with amiibos. And for some reason, there's mellow mode in this game. The Yoshi games are already so easy. The co-op's really good. The level design's really good. Love the art direction this game took with the wool and all that. Obviously called Woolly World and Yarn Yoshi and all that. The bosses were fun. Everything about this game was just so amazing, and that's why it's number nine on my list. For number eight, we have a weird one if you have watched the other Wii U collecting guide videos, and that is Super Mario Maker. Why is this weird? Because I put it on my favorites list, and I also put it on my don't buys list. The game itself was so good. This was one of my most anticipated games ever. I remember just waiting for this game to come out, and it was it came out and delivered in every single way. Basically, they took 2D Mario, at least Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 3, Super Mario World, and New Super Mario Bros U, and basically just gave it to you. You can make whatever levels you want, play other people's levels, and share your own. The amiibo costumes were great. The amount of creativity and replayability in this game was just basically endless until later on, a, few, a little bit after Super Mario Maker 2 came out, Nintendo shut down the online servers for this game, so you are no longer able to upload any more levels. You can either just create levels for yourself or play previously uploaded levels, which is why I put it on my don't buys list, as if you do play this now, you're not going to get much value out of it. But when it was up, this game was so fantastic, and that is why it's number eight on my list. In number seven, we have Mario Kart 8. We're breaking rules with this one, similar to my 3DS top 10 games list as this is the eighth mario kart but it's going in number seven mario kart 8 obviously mario kart 8 has improved upon this game in so much ways but the original game is still good if you just don't look at the battle mode there was new power-ups way better tracks all the remastered tracks in this game were good there was even some dlc that i do recommend getting before the eShop closed down its online mode was just amazing and still is amazing as you can play this online if people are still playing it Playing with your friends is a blast as well. I love the anti, but yeah, Mario Kart 8 is still a solid Mario Kart game, and honestly, one of the best ones. That's why it's number seven on my list. In number seven, we have Super Mario 3D World. Super Mario 3D Land is still an amazing game, especially if you've seen my 3DS collecting guide. I have praised it a lot, but 3D World basically just took 3D Land and made it way better. First of all, there's multiplayer co-op with each character having their own abilities respective to them. There's more power-ups, there's more boxes, there's better level design. Obviously the levels in this game have to be designed around multiplayer, but they were overall just way better. And obviously the graphics look super crisp in this game. 
Obviously, if you have a Switch, get Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. The main game's better in that version, and Bowser's Fury is included with it. But still, if you do own a Wii U, get Super Mario 3D World. It is just such a good 3D Mario game. And especially if you have people to play this with, you will have a blast. That is why it's number seven on my list. For number five, we have an absolute classic, Super Smash Bros for Wii U. Smash for Wii U, or Smash 4 as some people call it, is way better than its 3DS counterpart. And the game itself had a lot of characters and it had its modes, while some people might not enjoy, them, enjoy the modes as much as I did in this game, I think they were pretty fun, honestly. Then there was the crazy eight player mode, but overall, it's a good Smash game. And you can't really go wrong with a Smash game. This one, honestly, is one of my favorites as it was my first Smash game. But yeah, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, you can't go wrong with it. That's why it's number five on my list. In number four, we have Splatoon. What a classic Wii U game. Honestly, one of my just personal favorite multiplayer games Nintendo has ever made. I have so much memories with the OG Splatoon. This game is still worth playing as people still do play this online. There is way more special weapons in this game that are not in the other games. And the game itself has an exclusive story mode that was amazing. And just honestly, honestly, it was really good for the time. Still has the same addicting gameplay and the same amazing charm. Splatoon is one of the Wii U's best games and that is why it's number four on my list. This one actually works out perfectly. And number three, we have Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3 is one of my favorite games of all time. I don't want to say best as there's games that I do and had more fun with, but this game is just, it's gonna stick with me forever. I love Pikmin so much, and that's why when Pikmin 4 was announced, I was going crazy. And this was the game that got me into it, the Wii U version of Pikmin 3. What a fantastic game. Honestly, it's probably the best Pikmin game if you don't count Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Its gameplay was so fun, its graphics were beautiful, and the boss fights were amazing. The new Pikmin were good, even though the Rock Pikmin replaced the Purple Pikmin, and the returning ones were also a lot of fun. Having multiple captains that weren't just Olimar and Louie was also a new, fun gameplay mechanic. And getting food instead of having to get treasure was also a fun and new inventive mechanic. And having juice and having to drink one juice per day. I know I'm getting pretty deep into this game now, but it's just such an amazing game, and that's why it's number three on my list. In number two, we have The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, the definitive version of Wind Waker, better graphics, more stuff to do, and a shortened Triforce Shard quest. This was the game that got me into 3D Zelda, as I only touched 2D Zelda before this game, and wow, do I not regret it being my first game. This game surpassed my expectations in so much ways. Its story is amazing, its characters are amazing. The actual Wind Waker mechanic and having to do songs to either teleport or just do certain things was also really cool. I love sailing the ocean, finding random outposts, or just actually finding where you were supposed to go, like a certain island to go to the dungeon, or something like that was really good. The use of the Wii U gamepad, having your map or your items was also really neat. And the graphics in this game look beautiful. If you are a 3D Zelda fan, do not sleep on the Wind Waker for looking like a cartoon game or something crazy like that because this game is one of Zelda's best. That is why it's number two on my list. And number one, no jokes this time, is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Well, this might be a surprise to some that I put this above Wind Waker as most people probably prefer Wind Waker. Twilight Princess hit absolutely different for me. As most people bring up how it tried to be edgy and it just really isn't at all in the game, it can be at certain moments, but yes, I would say that Majora's Mask hit the creepy thing way better. But Twilight Princess, in my opinion, has some of the best dungeons in Zelda and also, also has a lot of dungeons. I think its graphics are, while it can look dark at some times, is honestly one of Zelda's most beautiful art styles they've ever done. The story can be really touching at some points, especially when your partner gets injured and that scene of the game was honestly just beautiful storytelling. The graphics going to HD in this game, while the frames weren't improved, the graphics do look way better and having the extra Cave of Shadows dungeon if you have the Wolf Link amiibo was also really fun. The use of the Wii U gamepad was also amazing, having your maps and items just like Wind Waker HD. And overall, this game is honestly, even though very popular, 
in the 3D Zelda world is very underrated, as it is my personal favorite 3D Zelda game, and that is why The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD is my favorite Wii U game. And there you have it, my Toads and Toadettes. These are my top 10 favorite Wii U games in order. Like I said, this is my opinion. Some games I have more nostalgia with or just like better. Please leave your top 10 Wii U comments if you do want to in the comment section down below. I would love to read it and see what you guys have to say. Obviously, you might disagree or agree with my list, and that is completely fine. I do have other videos in my Wii U collecting guide as well. And I did make a Nintendo 3DS top 10 video, top 10 games video as well. And I do have other Nintendo related content on my channel that I do recommend checking out. If you did enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing as it is free and I do make a lot of other, in my opinion, good content. So maybe I will become one of your top 10 best YouTubers. With that out of the way, guys, I'll see you in the next one.